Can we take it back? I wonder where they're going. Tonight's greatest mystery. <laughs> Maybe they're like buddies or something and they just hang out. Oh, there they go. I would like to believe so. Okay, Turt, you won me over. Maybe we can be friends. Ah, achievement unlocked! Turtle Taxi! <laughs> That's weirdly cute. Is it dark or is it shadow of death finally upon him? When did it become night? Whilst we were talking, I noticed. The audience noticed. It approached without a whisper. Like a midnight ghosty. I didn't even notice. I noticed. Yes. A midnight ghosty. Whoa, I just noticed the stars. That is another beautiful thing about being out in nature and away from people, is there's less light pollution and you can see the stars so clearly on a clear night. I don't remember the last time I saw this many. Oh, wow. This game, this game keeps keeps surprising me. Keeps Keeps making me feel the feels. This is a much longer playthrough than I imagined I'd be doing, but it's such a stunning game. I want to carry on playing it for you guys. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. You never see it, see the size you where I live, you're lucky if you see the moon. That must be isolating. It means something when I do see them at least. In days of absence, I will long for a night sky. Didn't you ever find it a bit overwhelming? No. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Overwhelming. Just looking up all the ever things. I feel the weight of it all hanging there. Ah, but the stars are here with us, you see? They share the night with us. But why bother? Because it's beautiful. Why should it mean anything? They're too far away to matter. But that in itself matters. Distance is nothing. They are as much with us as I with you. Fair point. Think. Does anything offer the same tranquility? Not many things. I would say rain is another thing that is calming. Like rain on a window, rain on a, a, a tree canopy. I've totally just missed that. Shards of glitter and glass suspended over us. Yeah, they're beautiful, just isolating. You felt the same thing when you looked at the horizon, though. Try this. Focus your gaze on a single star. Let's just, just do this. Let's go on another flying car trip. Let's get some ASMR on this. Ooh, I think we're focusing on that one. Okay, got one. I'm going to keep the mouse cursor here, but keep looking here. Focus. Focus with me on the ASMR journey of Far From Noise. Consider the journey that lone flicker of light has roamed. A strand of silver weaves its way across a galaxy, streaming through celestial clouds, across the backs of shimmering worlds. A lone light finally finds itself here. More fireflies coming out of the car. Lucky star. I just can't fathom things too infinite. It's painful. The beauty of the night is its ability to levitate you, weightless, one moment, and swallow you the next. Oddly enough, it is actually nice being out here. Quite the night. Damn right. Sure is. Wait, where's the moon at? No, I'll just I'll give it that. The moon's probably behind us. Shooting star. I 
I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. This is just a stunning game. I love the way that a lot of these stars are different colours and stuff. We used to come out here and make up constellations when we were younger. Constellations. Yeah, you know, stories in the stars. Stories in the stars? Say what? Okay, there is a ton of real constellations. But they're kind of dated. I see. There's stories told in pictures dotted in the stars, like Orion's Belt. Ah, tales of adventures and philosophers mapped out in the sky. Exactly. Let's... exactly. Let's see if I can remember any of ours. Pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much. One of our reinventions. Zowie the Acrobat. Avery the Queen of Steel. Yeah, let's go with that one. It's Avery the Queen of Steel. Which is where... Quite the title. My personal favorite. She was bigger than a boulder with this gaze of pure steel. Ah, oh, here we go. Cool. With her steely vision, she could transform anything she wished into pure glistening steel. Impressive. Yep. However, all was not well. It was not. Despite how tirelessly the people worshipped her. For her steel. The riddle of steel. She just wanted to be left alone. Why? She was the queen of steel. <laughs> it just didn't vibe with her. I can understand that. So in an effort to hide away from her raging fandom, she turned an entire forest to steel and then took refuge within. Also, a leopard. called Neptune. Neptune's is kind of a sea creature thing, so Rama, called Rama. Rama the Leopard. After many blissful months of peace, despite the steeliness of her forest, forest fortress, the st despite the steeliness of her forest fortress, ooh, say that five times fast, despite the steeliness of her forest fortress, despite the steeliness of her forest fortress, despite the steeliness of her forest fortress, for, for, for. that's hard. You give it a go. Her followers found her and began throwing themselves once more at her steel-clad feet. Praise the Steel Queen, they would chant. One night, when the stars were glistening brightly across Rama's back, the Steel Queen decided to end the parade. She commanded the brightest stars in the sky to turn into steel. Performing a perf forming a perfect image of herself in the heavens. Seeing how much larger this new steel queen was. The relentless followers turned their chance to the sky. The end. I shall never look at those stars the same way. Tell me, what others do you know? Well... Argonaut, there's the word. Ah, Ralphie the Argonaut. Oh, here they are. Boop, 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 boop. Ralphie, the one and only. It's the one that looks like a pelican. Why a pelican? Because she was a pelican. I see. She was also the greatest explorer to have ever lived. <clears throat> she, she explored the entire world. Spreading stories and treasures between pelican nations worldwide. She brought the world closer together. noble pursuit. Well, not everyone gets to be a constellation. Of course. 
it takes greatness. Are there more? Let's see. Um, I'm out of ideas. I see something. What is it? Oh, here we go. In it. In it. In it. Just in it. Should it be in it the something? Doesn't have to be. Just in it then. Cool. Who was she? A great philosopher. Okay, I'm on board. She was an expert in silence. Was she a monk? Perhaps. A silent monk philosopher. It was by choice her eternal silence. But she could talk. She could. How could anyone tell? It was obvious. In place of words, she she, sh she chose thought. She considered concepts so grand. She fathomed abstractions so unfathomable. Unfathomable. Ideas so spectacular and utterly groundbreaking. That one day she literally broke the ground and was swallowed by the resulting crevasse. Okay, that was good. It is customary to stay silent when observing the Aenid formation. Out of respect and admiration. Are you guys being silent too? You've definitely done this before. <laughs> I have spent a great many nights with the stars. I don't blame you. I feel like we need to thank this deer for hanging out with us. It is kind of peaceful. Don't get into personal questions with the deer stag thing. <gasps> Badger! Ah! What is it? That thing! It's a badger! It is harmless. Are you kidding me? Do you know what it is? It's a badger! Yes. The black white death machine. What is it then? Ah! It is a badger. Well, oh, he did know. A curious creature that explores in the dark. They're dangerous. No, they're not. Our little friend here does not look dangerous. You don't want to find out. Watch your ankles. It looks more cuddly than anything. <laughs> True. Cuddly Lula's answer. Now, I wouldn't cuddle a badger. They can be vicious, but if you leave it in its own environment, it's adorable. Oh, wow. Look at this. What on earth is this? Have you tried? Have you? No. Well, then. <laughs> what is this? Right. Let me tell you a story. Oh, hopefully this is cloud. And the red will be like the sun hitting the cloud before it raises and the night is passing. Let's get this fluffy toy penguin called Ernest. Ernest? After Hemingway. Nice. I had a Hemingway face. Doesn't everybody? Everybody's got a Hemingway face. Anyway, me and Ernest were like best buds. We went everywhere together. Unconventional pod dwelling peas. We er, went everywhere together. It was his big key. So there's one night I'm losing my mind because I can't find him. That looks so ominous. My mum tells me we'll find him in the morning. I'm a wreck. 
So next day we're in the garden and I see a wisp of white blow by. Drifting flawlessly through the air. It was pleasant, dreamy almost. Like this? It isn't long before I locate the source. This is like Flash Gordon-esque in the bushes at the bottom of the garden. There lies sweet Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> Disemboweled by a badger. It was quite the scene. So my dad goes looking for evidence, like trying to avenge my woe. There, behind the hedges, he unveils this demonic, frothing badger. Nestled in Hemingway's remains. Nestled. I learned a lot that day. About letting go. About the bloodthirst of badgers. They're demons. No, he was just building a nest. You ought not let the actions of one affect your opinion of the whole. Maybe you're right. Again, positivity. We're staying on positivity on this if we can. That one was pretty harrowing though. This one is not. What's it doing? Not much. Snuffling. Very little. Wandering. Wondering. Plotting. Perhaps. There is little in the way of plotting to note. It's planning something. Trust me. <laughs> oh, hello. Here it comes, to disembowel you, I should think. Don't say that. Goodbye, friend. It was a pleasure. Uh, yeah, don't scare it off. Just let it, let it do its, let it do its thing. This is ominous as anything. And away it goes. See? Didn't need to, to disturb it. Your adversary has departed. Maybe they're not so bad. They are not so bad. I take it all back. <laughs> they're just like little cats, I guess. Kinda. Black and white death machine achievement unlocked. Definitely doing well on sheaves in this game. I don't know anymore, dear. Do you? Do I what? Do you know? Do I know what? I don't know. <laughs> We're rambling at this point. Then neither do I. I'm trying to stay positive. I really am. But I can't help feeling the universe doesn't want me here. If it did not, do you think you would be? Maybe. Maybe it's nothing to do with anything. Maybe it's all random and nothing cares. I don't even know if that's worth. I don't even know if that's worse. I guess at least then it's not intentional punishment. It's just bad luck. Punishment for what? What you looking at? The red sky of death! Wow! Cool! A 
God, I totally forgot about this place. What place? I can't believe I forgot. It used to rain here every single time when we were kids. It's like notorious. Alright, everything I said about said before about things being bad. They were fine. Now they're bad. The beauty was just getting started. What? What is more beautiful than this? Literally anything else. I disagree. I was just saying that rain can be a beautiful thing to, to behold. But is anything more mesmerizing than a transformation brought by the rain? Puppies. <laughs> anything. Life would be nothing without beauty. We're not going to be alive to see it. You worry about death while life ignites around you. See, the deer's talking sense. Like when rains come, like the plants breathe again. It's little microcosms of life spring up into a being. Now I understand his concern that the water may erode underneath the car, allowing it to fall, but this is the fire of beauty that rages from the earth. Wow. Serenity lay in wait to be ripped apart from the wildest form. Torrents of exhilaration pour from the sky. Quakes shake the ocean to cry out. Blistering crescendo from every form of life. All are thrust from rest to revel in violent beauty. Nothing sleeps while nature takes its fiercest dance. Guys, just get this game. Like, play it through. Make different choices to me. Find your own path. And I I'm curious how much changes depending on what choices you make. I feel like I should be terrified. But I'm not. Nor should you be. It's beautiful. And within a car, even if you got struck, it would go to it should go through the wheels and you shouldn't get feel any of it. I don't know what I feel. Or I would go with awe. That's A-W-E, not O-A-R. Check out the uh, fireflies again. The lighting and art style on this is so stunning. Like, coming up with um, thumbnails for this is going to be. <laughs> child's play. It's so easy. It's going to be nice separating it out into episodes and having the thumbnails change in uh, look. Wildest form achievement unlocked. Stunning. Oh, the red clouds have gone. Oh, is the sun rising? I think the sun is rising. Hopefully means we're going to get to try the car again. Have you ever seen anything like that? 
while I have seen storms that are never two quite the same. Too true. I've never been anywhere near a storm like that. We're still here. Christ, now the sun's coming up. Thus lifts the veil of night. Can't believe we've been here the entire night. How many, how can that many things happen? Honestly, I don't even feel like the same person. That's good. That is an epiphany. Came out here so worried about what I'm supposed to do. But it all seems so inconsequential now. Good. <laughs> it's also pointless. No, don't don't look at it that way. Which is actually a relief. Oh, in that case, do look at it that way. <laughs> the waves will keep on crashing after I'm gone. grass will still be blowing. Even if I never came back. Even if I never came here in the first place. That consistency is so grounding. Like, it doesn't matter what I do in the future. It really doesn't make a difference. So you should just follow your dreams. Yes, the ocean is beautiful. Maybe I'll be buried in it tomorrow, but it's pretty okay now. It's just nice to have that right now. I know this cliff will still be here, even if I left. Just being here, away from everything else. Even remembering that it's here. It's like soaking up a sponge with the horizon and the clouds and everything. And then just taking it away. Leaving. Knowing that it all carries on. Bye, Stag. Thank you. It's just us, Mala. Want to give it another shot? Start the engine.
thank you very much everybody for enjoying playing Far From Noise with me. That is one of the most beautiful games I've played in a long time. Uh, one of the most relaxing games I've played for a long time. And kudos to George Bachelor. Just the, the design of this. Jeff Linton, the music is stunning and, and immerses you in all the scenes and keeps going from scene to scene. Just everything about this game, uh, all the guys involved in this game have done just a stunning job. It's very simple in a lot of ways, and it, but it's it's beautiful and it makes you think and it makes you feel something. And, that, and really, I think that's a lot of what gaming is about. I think just the way it takes a very static uh, scene and then moves into it and around it is really really stunning. I'm looking forward to playing through this through uh, a couple more times just to make different suggestions, um, different selections of the dialogue options and choices that you get to make throughout this game. Uh, oh, Mala was one of the names of uh, the people they're giving thanks to, so I wonder if that's where the, the names have come from. Um, this is absolutely stunning. Thank you guys so much for joining in with, joining in with me uh, in watching me play this game. The link there'll be links in the description on every one of these videos uh, below to the Steam page where you can get this game. I strongly suggest playing it, playing through with your own way. Whether you you think the driver would be panicking more, whether you think he'd be calmer, whether he'd ask different existential questions that I didn't expect to be <laughs> answering in a game like this, but. Not only would I suggest playing this game, I would also just suggest when you have a moment, make some time, go out, reconnect with nature, switch off everything, and enjoy some life, soak up some life, and take, hopefully, what is the message of this game out with you. Thanks very much for joining me, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, fade to white, fade to white. Far from noise.